We were talking about modular inverses and we started with the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we observed that the number 3 has an inverse. That means you can find another number. In this case, 7 was our inverse of 3. Uh, such that if you multiply so what was the operation the operation was this if you multiply 3 and 7 you get 21 that's normal multiplication and then you divide by 10 you divide by 10 to get the remainder 1 so that's the output of this new operation that we defined in the previous video you multiply the two numbers divide by 10 and you get the remainder that remainder that you get that is the output so this is 3 star 7 and the output is 1. So that's how we define an inverse. You operate something with 7. You operate something with 7 and you get 1. So that's how 3 is the inverse of 7 and 7 is the inverse of 3. So uh, we observed that 3 does have an inverse. We also hinted in the previous video that 4 will not have an inverse. And you can check this by experiment. You can multiply or, or you can operate 4 with each number in the set and you will not get 1. For example, 4 operated with, let's say, 6. This is what? This is 4 times 6 is 24. You divide by 10, the remainder is 4. So the, out, so the output of this operation is 4 when you operate it with 6. Uh, so you can like this, you can check with each number in the set and you will never get 1. We can actually prove this using some algebra. So let's suppose if 4 did have an inverse, let's suppose that inverse is x, then that means 4 times x when divided by 10 will give remainder 1. Question is, where can this happen? So this means if, if 4x gives remainder 1, then 4x minus 1 is divisible by 10. Of course, if you re remove the remainder, then whatever is left out, that is divisible by 10. That's, that's the meaning of remainder. Now, 4x minus 1 is equal to 10 times some quotient, some q. Uh, question is, uh, is this a true equation? Is this a true equation? Now, you can immediately see this is not true because the right hand side, this part is even and the left hand side, this part is odd. Because 4x is even, if you re remove my 1 from an even number, you get an odd number. So this is called a contradiction in parity. So 4 will not have an inverse. In fact, we can easily guess what other numbers in the set will not have an inverse. And the answer is any number which has a common divisor greater than 1 with 10. So why is that than 1 with 10? Any number which has a common divisor greater than 1 with 10 will be reduced to this particular situation that we faced. Let me give you another example. Let's suppose, let's take 5. Will 5 have an inverse? Again, you can check this using like normal trial and error, but you can also do this using algebra. Suppose y is the inverse of 5, then 5y gives a remainder of 1 when divided by 10. Now, is this possible? Well, again, 5y minus 1 is divisible by 10. If you remove the remainder, it is to get divisible by 10. That's equals to 10 times some quotient. But this is an impossible uh, equation. Why is that? Well, you can do it like this. You can take this 10q minus to the right, left hand side and 1 to the right hand side. So 5y minus 10q is equal to 1. This is not possible 
because the left hand side is divisible by 5 but the right hand side is not so this is divisible by 5 you can take a 5 common and the right hand side is not divisible by 5 See, this can be done using arguments. Uh, this can be uh, written in arguments in modular arithmetic. Um, but I don't want to uh, make things terminology-wise compl complicated. I mean, the, what's happening is the same thing. But I want to keep it as simple as possible, uh, as far as possible. So, you can now probably prove that any number which has a common GCD with uh, 10 with, uh, greater than 1, a GCD greater than 1 with 10 will not have an inverse. The question is, can you show that every number with a GCD equal to 1 with 10 will have an inverse? That's the question for the next video. And uh, you can give it a try before coming back to our website. Uh, the link in the description will take you to some more ideas. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.